Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Might and Magic 7. Where we left off last time, I brought us back to White Cliff Caves. We're going to do a little bit more, uh, White Cliff Caving. Okay, there's a thing here where there are oozes. Obviously we know about that. Um, but there are troglodytes fighting the oozes. They're not friends. The oozes win 100% of the time because the troglodytes can't do damage to them. But, it's actually not too bad for us because we can snag some easy treasure while they fight each other out between each other. They fight it out between each other. There we go. There are these two treasure chests here. We're gonna not blow up this time. That's a start. I like how dis... so completely like disinterested she is in all of the uh, stuff we're finding. Because it is all garbage. She's not wrong. It's really bad equipment. We might have a couple fighting us. Looks like that one troglodyte queen has come to say hi. Unfortunately, letting these guys fight it out means our turns go a little bit slower. Kind of the way it is. I wonder what's up there. She is two thirds of the way dead, give or take. Alright, almost done. That drone is now in our way, though. And now we're diseased. Poisoned. Poisoned, not diseased. Okay, now we can hopefully finish this off. First of all, get rid of that one. Done. Alright, we have two poison people, we'll deal with that in a minute. Yoink. Oh no, I can't quite jump up. Let's try and jump in an angle. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to make it. That sucks. We'll go around the other way, I guess. Decent chest again. There's no room. Apparently I'm running out of inventory space. We're gonna have to worry about that later. I don't know if I think I can jump up these. Nope. A little bit too high. We'll go around, I guess. Pick up that treasure chest. I shot one in the back just because I felt like it. Oh, we jumped up this one though. Yeah, we got up this one. I think there should be a opening there, but there's not. Oh, there's a bow behind this combat. We'll grab that too. Basically, we're not going to be worried about fighting the oozes. It's just too annoying at the moment. We'll let them kill each other. Nothing up there. Looks like there's some things to fight up here. I just don't want to get caught up with the uh, ooze combat again, because it takes forever to do turn-based combat with those oozes fighting the troglodytes. Okay, let's save. Piece of cake. We're getting pretty good disarming traps. I'm actually really happy with this turn of events. You'll have to get rid of something first. You're going to have to get rid of something first. Her voice irritates me. I don't know. Let's leave it behind. We need to get expert... Uh... Identify item. Okay, we need to figure out what these are again. Red is might. We know that. We should give some might to our monk, though. Uh, 
It's yellow again? I know I had it. Oh, I closed it. Barrel types. Yellow speed, I think. Accuracy. Sure, the monk can have some accuracy. Red is might. Back to the knight. Accuracy. Orange was intellect. It's a little extra mana for her. And I think there's some gold here. And then that's pretty much it. We can leave. So, there we go. We completed the White Cliff Caves. Yeah, there's a couple oozes we can kill, but by and large, I shouldn't have grabbed that without um, <laughs> actually saving first, but whatever. Fine. It worked out in the end. And that's pretty much it for that place. We got some treasures. Kind of. Not great treasures, and I think it's going to be slightly minimized by the fact that we were poisoned. I'm sure that the church is going to charge us like 8,000 gold for that. But oh well, we can head back to Arathia, or if we get a caravan to Natalia, we'll go there. What's the other place? Or maybe we should just go Barrow Downs. We were going to go to the Barrow Downs right after this, but unfortunately we're poisoned, so now we have to go back to town and unpoison ourselves and then go to the Barrow Downs. Not that I'm slightly annoyed by that. Greetings. I don't need an arms master. I need a teacher, not a hunter. Greetings. Definitely not a fool. Greetings. Oh, a teacher. Old. He's going to give us some extra experience. He's going to take some of our money, though. I think he increases our thing by 10%. 10% bonus on experience earned, and he takes 3% of our gold. It's fairly worthwhile. Leveling is important. Eventually money will be important too, but for now, leveling is pretty good. It's time to start doing the Barrow Downs though. We need to do that to get the Dwarves quest. And then the Dwarves have to tell us what they need us to do, which is in the Barakata Desert. And then, after that, We'll have a better castle. And then we have to unite the world against evil and stuff. As is always the case. How much is this? Oh, it's not that expensive. Okay. Um... In order to minimize time on the way back... You can actually go this way. Basically straight that way. You just kind of just wander over the hills. There's that road. At least that little village. And we want to be on the southern edge of that little village. So the thing about going to the Barrow Downs right now is we're not going to have any food, unfortunately. I went the wrong way. That's a, well, not really the wrong way, but you don't need to go on this little side path. You just have to follow the road south. Realistically, we're just going to jump right off here. And travel south. Five days to get to the Barrow Downs. Oh, there's a tavern here, right. But I believe there's also ghosts, like, immediately outside of this little area. Who are you? Nobody. I don't want bottles of glass, thank you. Alright. Well, first of all, let's grab some food, and then we'll also play Archomage. So we have 20 tower, 50 wall. That's a lot of wall. Um, we have crap for uh, quarries and magic production. So let's upgrade our quarry a little. Two zoo is kind of bad for us. I'm upgrading our quarry.
We're just trying to break down his wall at the moment. We have crap cards. Such garbage. Come on, give me something good. Alright. That's somewhat better. I still can't believe we only have one gem per turn. We are gonna lose because they are gonna out-resource us. He's at 86 beasts, that's insane. I don't want to use the imp. The imp kind of sucks. This is excellent. I'm glad I have an entire hand full of blue cards and still only plus one. Now he has plus two magic. Now we're in serious trouble. Oh yay, we finally get some more stuff. He's gonna win though, I think. We've gotten terrible cards this game. I don't want Cory's help. He lowered his own magic for no reason. Weird. Yay, more Cory. Oh, he's got more magic again. I think he's gonna win by just getting enough beasts to win. We already have enough wall. I'm just gonna drop that card. Oh, we can finally get more magic in a bunch of turns. God damn it, seriously? Oh, okay. We can get up to his magic at some point in time in the near future. But we're probably gonna lose by the time that point hits. We just lost two quarry. He has much better cards than I do. Alright. We can finally get some magic going. We'll build a Mondo wall, because why not? Hey, we might not win from- or we might not lose from beasts. We might actually just lose because he has a better tower than we do. Nine wall gain seven. Okay, sure. Okay, let's get rid of... Oh, we can't get rid of that. I hate Lodestone. Any more else greater than... Okay, maybe that later. I hate him. He's getting all the best cards, and we're getting just the worst garbage cards. Get rid of that. We can't get rid of that still, but I'm gonna get rid of that quarry thing. Jesus. Also, the sound effects aren't helping make this any funner. The weird choppy sounds. Oh good, that actually kind of worked. I knew that was coming. Okay, let's hope we get better stuff this time. Actually, you know what? We might as well do that, because we can't get less than one quarry. Operate this tech. Why are we getting all these garbage play one again cards? Now oh, we can take down his tower a little bit, I guess. Kind of tempted just to turn off the sound for Archimage matches. If we lose again, I will. We need more magic. They lose 10 gems and 5 bricks. But they don't have that much, so there's no real point in playing that one yet. But soon there will be. Okay, that's a good card. Yay, we get more 
How is he at eight already? Jesus. Get rid of that. Take what we can. Where's my secret room? I haven't even seen that card in my hand yet. Magic's not greater than the enemies, so that's not going to help us too much. Let's make him lose three beasts, because why not? Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Dragon's Heart's nice. We finally got a decent card. useful for us at the moment. Why do I keep getting these garbage fortification cards? Oh, there we go. I like that. Why would you get rid of that card? That's a great... Oh, because you had all of the plus one magic cards. I see. You couldn't choose which one to keep. Ooh, a plus one zoo. We need more gems, we need to get this tower thing. It's gonna take us a long time to get that though. If I keep using them. Yay, we can shoot their tower at least. Ooh, gain seven gems. Okay, that's good. Would you go away? I'm trying to build a tower here. Stop giving me foundations. No... yeah, actually that's not so bad. We've all seen down his wall, that's kind of nice. Fine, I'll have more wall. I don't know why I need more wall, but still. We gotta keep his beasts down. Please give me a good card. That's a good card. I'll take that. Yay, we win. Okay, that was painful. There's money there on the ground. Alright, so here we have lots of undead. Uh, we are going to change up our spells. We just need to get rid of her Mind Blast for now, because it's not going to do anything. Undead are rather immune to Mind blasts, unfortunately. There's an entrance to the Barrow Downs up here on this hill. Also, looting shades is kind of pointless. They sometimes drop items, but it's so rare that it's not really worth it, generally. That one's gonna get away. No, it's not. It died. Much like with the dragonflies, you don't want them to get away. Any flying creature is super annoying when it starts to run away. But now it's out of sight. Damn it. My mouse just wasn't in the right place. Alright, we're almost up top here, but there's still more enemies. They're just normal shades. We're gonna let them get closer so we can just hit them with our weapons. Our melee is gonna be a bit better off because we have heroism, except that we got afraid. Good. 
the lowest chance thing to get. And we ended up getting it anyways. Alright. Oh, she's fine. It only lasts for a little bit. Okay, so we're in Barrow 9. There's Gogs. They're immune to fire. It's ready. They're not immune to that. They do, however, explode when they die. Just as a heads up. So, if you're close to them, they'll blow up your people. I think I might be too close. Yep. Alright. We need to get our person back up. She's bodybuilding, even for the low level one maybe, I don't know, just to keep her alive a little bit longer. Okay. Oops, don't load, just saves. That's the key I need. Try again. What a scratch. How many negatives? Exactly. 29. Ow. Is this an almost always death? Ow. Okay. Good enough. I thought I had it. Clearly you didn't, but at least we have the key now. That's what we needed. So when we go up to the top here, I'll show you guys what's going on. So this tells us where we are in comparison to other barrows. So we are in Barrow 9. And if you go in... How does this work exactly? I can't remember. Oh right, it's up or down. So it's currently in the up position. We can go to either Barrow 5 or Barrow 7. And I don't remember what each barrow has in it. This one has skeletons. Now, it doesn't necessarily lead back to the same place when you go back in the other way. It sometimes does, but not always. Friggin' gogs. Acid spray is also not a great spell. Not that it matters, she's unconscious anyways. I don't remember which um, barrows we're supposed to go into. I do have her remember where most of the secrets are, which is kind of weird. Let's get our mage back up. She's probably going to need to be around to uh, shoot rats. Okay, let's head down. Whoop. We should also get Bless and um, Heroism on. Okay, you're going to switch to Acid Spray as your default spell for now. back up again. She has the hit points of a 80 year old woman. Oh, go away. I'm busy healing. That's the way out here. Control the strength. Real-time combat, that. How oh, can you hit me in melee and I can't hit you in melee? That's not fair. 
Oh no. It comes back down. There's treasure up there. Can't remember if there's one on the other side. We may have to rest up here because we might kill ourselves trying to disarm this trap that is inevitably on this thing. That's what I thought. Another barrel key though. Important. I don't think there's a treasure chest on the other side, but I'm gonna check anyways. Anything up here on the top bookshelves? Nope. Wait a minute, maybe there is. Hang on. Sometimes the walls have secrets. Apparently we can rest on the moving platform. We're at level 7. I'm going to just go check for secrets. Nope, doesn't look like there's any. What was that sound? Oh. Okay. What do we got for this one? The tree, by the way, is just outside. I think, anyways. 9 or 10? Go to barrel 10. What was the... hang on. Which barrel do we need to go to? For our monk thing? Oh, just the meditation spot doesn't give an answer. Just two? Two rats, that's it? Ow. Oh, freaking gogs. Nobody likes you gogs. Mostly because you explode. That's really my only qualm with you. What time are we at even? Oh, 27 minutes. Okay, good. We have some time still. More minutes at least. Yes, dead. Yet another explosion, probably. But another barrel key. Oops. We can just heal a little bit. I should just head to a quick spell. She has a really poor ability to, to disarm traps at the moment. They'll get better later, but for now it's kind of garbage. Uh, we need... Everyone's fine, other than that. Well, we did bless on. I meant heroism. Damn it. We're trapped. I mean, you can just open the door. It's not like it's hard, but still. We're trapped. There's a Magog there. That is a bit unfortunate. Really? Death? She really can't take a hit from anything. I'm just gonna go hit it till it dies. How are you not dead? Seriously? There. <sighs> like how it gets two attacks around. Of course. One more attempt.
Holy crap, my mage is terrible at staying alive. Her hit points aren't even that bad. The cleric technically has less hit points. Right now, anyways. Me, <laughs> seriously. Alright, one more attempt. Let's try and pull the other things out. Okay, the rat's dead. We'll just play the kiting game. Keep the pillar between me and it. Oh, she got hit. Of course she did. Come on. Shoot. There. Stupid Magog. To be fair, Magogs are a bit tough for us at this level. They do lots of damage. I don't think there's anything else in here. Also, we're up a level, but we can't level up yet. Because we're not near Stone City, and Stone City is expensive actually to level up in. Get there eventually. Let's go see where we can go for the barrows, and then we'll call it a video. Alright, we have level 7 or 3 we can go to. I think we've been to 7. Sounds familiar. Anyways, I'm going to end here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you guys next time.